viewers we continue with process costing chapter 8 of our set book let's go straight to the question question one a company manufactures a product by means of two successive processes process one and process two the following relates to the period just ended process two work in progress nil nil transfer from process one 2160 units cost 22,032 rands. Materials added 5,295. Conversion costs 8,136. Transfer to finished goods warehouse 1,950 units. Closing work in progress 210 units. The work in progress at the end of the period was 80% complete with respect to materials added and 40% complete with respect to conversion costs in process 2. Required, calculate for the period the A, production cost per equivalent unit of the product, 6 marks, B, value of the transfer to the finished goods warehouse, C, value of the closing work in progress, in process 2, 3 marks, total 11 marks. I have gone ahead and opened the template to calculate the equivalent production statement, unit cost statement, and production cost statement. So, as by now we should be familiar with our equivalent production statement, where we are supposed to balance our input units and our output units. Our input units into this process, process 2, is the material that was transferred from process 1. That was 2,160 units. These were started in process 2, of which they were transferred from process 1. We type them under inputs they started. These were started in process Two transferred from process one but started in process two. How many units were completed in process two transferred to finished goods warehouse? This 1950 were the units that were fin completed in process two. We are also told that the closing work in progress is 210 units. CWIP stands for closing work in progress there. There was no opening work in progress in, pro in process 2, so no inputs there for process 2 for opening work in progress. So we can sum up everything there. We get 2160 as inputs. Then our check, check for the total. We also get... 2160. In this case, it means there were no losses in this process. No abnormal, no normal losses in this process as the completed and the closing work in progress units are equal to the units started there. Then we, had, we were told here on in, in the question that the work in progress at the end of the period was 80% complete with respect to material and 40% complete with respect to conversion costs. So we come to material here, we will say 210 multiplied by 80%, because it was 80% in terms of material, and then 40% in terms of conversion costs, the closing work in progress. The completed units, the units that were transferred to the finished goods warehouse, 1950 they are complete in terms of material and also complete in terms of conversion as yes, they are finished goods now let's sum up the material we get 2118 we sum up the conversion we get 2034 like that. That's our equivalent production statement done. 
Then now we come to our unit cost statement. Cost from process one, 22,032. We put them under the total here because uh, we are not told the breakdown of that. We always put them on the total there. Then the current cost for this one, we've got material 885,295. Conversion cost 8136. We put them under material is 5295. That is the figure there. Conversion cost 8136. 8136, like that. Then we sum the current cost. We get 13. We sum all the costs, process one and current cost. We also sum there for material. We also sum for conversion costs. Now let's calculate the unit cost under conversion. We we'll say eight one three six divided by the equivalent units for conversion. That's two thousand and thirty four. We get four rand. Then for materials, we say 5,295 divided by 2,118, the equivalent uh, units for materials, we get $2.250. Two, two then the total here, we sum up the material and the conversion. We get six dollars six hundred fifty, but now we have got a problem because we have got this cost from process one of twenty two thousand and thirty two. This one we will say twenty two thousand and thirty two divided by the total units that we brought from uh, process one that was two thousand and one hundred and sixty. So. The cost per unit brought forward is 10 rand 20. So it should be added on the current cost. This 6 rand 50 is the current unit cost at process 2. But the current unit cost at process 2 should be added to the brought forward um, cost from process 1. So we'll add there, you see my formula there, we'll add there the 10 rand 20 there. Then we'll get 16 rand 70 there as our cost per unit from process two. In other words, we take the unit cost from process one, we add the unit cost from process two because process two should also include the costs that are carried forward from process one. We get that 16 rand 70. Then now we march on to our production cost statement where we calculate our finished goods. Our finished goods completed is 1,950 units multiplied by the cost per unit now is 16 rand 70 like that. Let's go and multiply here. We say finished the goods 1950 multiplied by 16 rand 70 we get 32565 then under our closing uh, working progress here we have got 210 these 210 units they all came from process 1 so the total of 210 Let's uh, type it here. We say 210 multiplied by the brought forward cost. Because they include the brought forward cost. Then we will say here, this 210 here under the closing work in progress multiplied by the brought forward cost of 10 rand 20. We get that much. Then now we come to materials. Equivalent units for materials is 168 for 
the closing work in progress multiplied by 2 rand 50. Let's go and multiply. We say 168 multiplied by 2 rand 50. We get that 420. Then under conversion now, the equivalent units for closing work in progress is 84 units multiplied by 4 rand like that. So we come on and multiply here. We say 84 multiplied by multiplied by 4 rand like that. We get this figure. Then the total closing work in progress. We add those two. Those three figures, we get 2,898. Then we sum up the finished goods and the closing work in progress. We get 35,463. Same figure as the total cost there under unit cost statement. So everything now balances. We are happy. Thank you for watching up to this point. And also, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and also like the video and share with your friends. Thank you so much.